Sigil goes up there. Stand by. Racing. And at the first to actually jump, Pixated also out very quickly is Excellent Jerry with Wars a Chance showing plenty of gusto as well. And racing up there, Sound of Fury soon after the start, they settle down. Excellent Jerry leads the way through the first 250, held Wars a Chance, Pixated driving forward, Sound of Fury, then Sebring Spy in the centre is Lady Lejean. Friars Fancy had settled down near the inside next of all from Slick Sam. Then the favourite getting into the back half, Bell My Pago, Alta Sulamore being followed by by Sigil tramping deep on the course with Bombardier and Dinabel last of all as they head along by the 500. It's excellent Jerry down on the inside with its head in front of Sound of Fury. Sebring Spy caught wide. Pixated's over on the inside, inside enjoying a good run to the home corner inside of Wars a Chance. Then Slick Sam. They're followed by Lady Lejean held up on heels. Friars Fancy cutting back to the inside and Sigil's winding up down by the 200. Sebring Spy sprints to the lead from Sound of Fury. Sigil's running on, but coming to the 100, Sebring Spy snuck away. Sigil down the outside, runs to second, but it's Sebring Spy. Sebring Spy too good under the vigour of Noski. Beat home Sigil. Sound of Fury at odds has run third from Bell My Pago. Slick Sam, Lady Lejean didn't get a lot of galloping room in the straight, followed by Dinabel Bombardier made some headway, followed then by Wars a Chance, Alder Sillamore, Friars Fancy. A gap to Pixated and Excellent Jerry folded up after leading for home to finish amongst the tail enders. Big, big result here. Sebring Spy, number four, 52, 80 and 9, 90, Jared Noski. Number four, posts an upset result, beats Sigil with another minor. And Sound of Fury at cricket score odds the 100 to 1 chance. So, in fact, it's a, a blowout result. $41 winner on the WOP. Sigil around 750 and 101 for the third place, Sound of Fury. And uh, that should see, if you've uh, been lucky enough to hold those numbers, some pretty attractive exotics because the favourites just got into fourth placing. Bill My Pay Game. Sebring Spy, though. Number four. Trained by Donald O'Connor, ridden by Jared Noski. After failing in two runs back, although not beaten all that far in those performances, I think it needs to be said. Beaten three and a half and two and a half in its two outings back so far. The Sebring gelding from Twilight Spy for Basil Galluccio, Mrs. N.J. Galluccio, Johnny Galluccio, V.D. Galluccio. Jared Noski aboard with its fourth win in 25 runs. Defeating Sigil by Saxon from Yellow Moon, prepared by Simon Miller, ridden by Chloe as a party. A great day back for Chloe with two rides, a winner in a second. And third home when these numbers do come to hand goes the way of number 14, Sound of Fury by Fath from Bella Pier prepared by Robbie Payton and written by Craig Staples, officially fourth, number 10 in uh, Pixated, actually. Number 10, Pixated, has grabbed fourth. Um, let's just have a little look and uh, see. Well, I, I don't know about that. Uh, we'll, we'll just check those numbers. Uh, we'll stand by, just check placings here. Um, in regards to fourth, uh, Pixator displayed there having run fourth, but um, we'll just confirm that number. We'll go down to Gareth in the meantime after the, this result. It's a great win too for the uh, Galluccio family. Yeah, terrific win and Donald O'Connor's about to join us here. Terrific effort. This horse, he can be one of those horses that he always runs some nice races, doesn't get the best of luck and today was his day. Oh, exactly that. Like this horse has been... So unlucky his last four or five runs. He probably should have collected at least four checks with a couple of wins thrown in there, you know. And just to win today for Basil, the owner, who hasn't been too well as of lately. So it's just great medicine and a great tonic for everybody. Yeah, he's 40 to 1 today and he's probably got out to a ridiculous price. Ah, oh, way overpriced. I couldn't believe the price of him. He should have only been about 7 or 8 to 1. Like, with a, with a, if anybody did their homework, they would have seen how unlucky he's been like, so... And he's one of those horses that probably misses out on the luck from time to time. And I've always had a, I've had a chat to you about this fellow a few times. He's, he's probably a Saturday horse with the right luck. He is a Saturday horse, but we just don't get the barriers. We've just been getting bad gates all the time, you know. And last time in Pinjar, we got a decent gate, but we got a bad run in the race. So it's just been a hard luck story all the way, really. Sometimes racing can be a beautiful game, but when you win like this, it, all the bad luck, uh, you forget about those days. It does. It makes the winners more precious when they come along. And as I said, for Basil and John and Noreen, it's just great to have it because um, it's just a great tonic for everybody. Yeah. You know? Great stuff. Well done. Enjoy. No worries, mate. There we go. There's Donald O'Connor. Yes. 
is officially for Belmont Pago, uh, not too fixated, which has been uh, displayed a little earlier. So the official placings are for the uh, Okay, we'll catch it. Catch up with Brittany now. So Bell, my pay goes fourth. Thanks very much. I will catch up with Jared Noski. And Jared, I think this means a lot to the owners if the sound coming from the mounting yard was anything to go by. And it's always great to ride the winners for the people that it means the most to. Yeah, definitely. Um, Mr. Galicia has been a long time owner. And I remember going on the races with his dad when I was a kid and him riding winners for the family. So uh, it's great to ride a winner for him. And um, it's good to see him out here today. Wonderful long association. Today you rode the horse like the best horse in the race. You managed to find yourself three deep without the cover, but on the speed, but seemed to be comfortable there. Yeah, Donald was um, pretty confident. Um, he said he shouldn't have been that price, and um, yeah, he gave good instructions. He said, go forward. If you get in, you can. If you don't, just sit there and do your best. And um, he knew his horse was fit and done the rest. Well, there's been a horse that has been so unlucky, so I guess taking luck out of the equation, when you hit the front and uh, are in the home straight, you're always comfortable that you had it run? He did give me a good kick and he really wanted to run through the line. I thought at the 200, there was nothing going to catch me, so it's good. Well done. Congratulations, Jared. Thanks, Larry. There's Jared Noski there, and that's a good performance by... Go one better on Saturday with <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Baz. Um, yeah, good performance there.